My name is Manfred Krohmann. I'm a civil engineer, a structural engineer, co-founder of Bollinger, Bollinger and Krohmann. We started this uh, structural engineering office some 35 years ago in Frankfurt. Actually, right now, uh, in, in, in total, we have about uh, 220 engineers and a few architects uh, working uh, with us. And per year, about 200 or 300 projects of different scale. As a young kid, I've started working with construction kits, uh, metal metal kits. And uh, on school later, I well, engineer would be a, would be a good thing, and so I ended up becoming a civil engineer. The most satisfying thing is you start with an idea, then you have it on the paper, and two years later you can walk inside. That's exciting, still exciting for me. The situation we are now faced all over the world, we, we no, normally do not work for clients anymore. We work for investors, we work for developers, who know from the beginning that at latest, with the finishing of the construction, they have sold the whole thing to someone else. With these investors, you, they, are, they are not so really interested in, uh, in innovation. They are simply interested in less uh, money for more space. Right now, the whole building uh, sector is, is waiting for a disruptor. Someone will come, will come and, and, and turn everything upside down. What we do right now, pouring the concrete on our side and making so much, so much noise, using so much energy, uh, this is not. Uh, this will not. Will not be the future. I'm really convinced of this. I'm quite convinced uh, that uh, it will go quite strong into the direction of prefabrication. First of all, it is. It is speeding up construction time. You just have to bolt the things together on site. The second thing is it. It reduces the, the impact that goes al comes along with the construction site for the neighbors and for all the people. Uh, you can. You can. Co coordinate your transport, you can put your transport into time, time slots when there's not much traffic. And now working for, for a client who wants to keep the building, who is working for himself. We as an engineer, our heart opens, we can, we can propose new things and if we are able to convince the client. So this is uh, really then a very good, very interesting situation and uh, we already started developing new things, doing new things, and which ha have not been done before. When you think of sustainability, sustainability should be much more than only minimizing energy consumption. Sustain sustainability should cover the whole life cycle of a building from cradle to cradle, not from cradle to grave, but from cradle to cradle. So uh, when you uh, can dismantle things, like you put them together, you can reuse them, or with steel you can re reuse any kilogram of steel that you can take that you take out of the building. We, we are de de developing a, a prefabricated system on the basis of Kofferadal, which brings the, the, the finished surface for, for the interior architecture with it. Everything prefabricated and just put together on site. Steel gives you all the flexibility you, you, you want to have. And flexibility is one important thing for, uh, for me, also for the sustainability of buildings. You can shape it in any form and you can reuse it for 100%. The future of planning will be parametric. New, new things will develop. And when these things uh, will develop, the, 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 the border of the discipline of, between the architect and the engineer will, will become very uh, open. What is driving me is that that uh, that uh, I know uh, I have the experience uh, that the better is the enemy of the good. So just to improve improve things and uh, and have new develop developments and, and and try try to work on a on a future that will be even better than than our today.